Good morning, and welcome to Recruit Training Command at Naval Station Great Lakes, the quarterdeck of the Navy. I am Rear Admiral Craig Mattingly, Commander of Naval Service Training Command. I want to personally welcome you to our Navy family. What an exciting day. Family, friends, and shipmates, it is an honor to have you with us as we celebrate the graduation of our newest United States Navy sailors. It seems just like yesterday, I was graduating boot camp and it meant the world to me to have my family and friends sitting in the audience just like you. I wanna take a moment to thank you for playing a significant role in the lives of these sailors before you. Your support, your encouragement, and your love help them reach this time-honored tradition. As we look upon these young women and men, we see a transformation that took place over the past several weeks. They endured rigorous physical and mental training, pushing themselves to their limits and beyond. They learned the importance of teamwork, of discipline, and of dedication. They have become a proud part of our tradition of service to our nation. Each of these new sailors will play a critical role in fulfilling our Navy's mission. They will be stationed around the world serving on ships, on submarines and aircraft, protecting our nation and our allies. Your sailor will make a positive impact on the world. They will be ambassadors of our country, representing the best of what America has to offer. They will be leaders, they will be mentors, and they will be role models for others to follow. And as we celebrate this graduation, let us remember the sacrifices that were made to get us here. Let us honor the commitment and the dedication of these new sailors. And let us look forward to the bright future that lies ahead, knowing that our nation is in great hands. Thank you, thank you for playing a significant role in the lives of these recruits. And I warmly welcome you to our Navy family. Enjoy the ceremony and celebrate your sailor. Thank you.
graduating performing unit is Division 9. Divisions. Right. Base. Section leaders fall out and collect outer garments. Divisions. Counter. March.
Division Commanders, left or right, face, parade, rest. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I am Lieutenant John A. Moon, Recruit Training Command's Master of Ceremonies. I would like to welcome you to today's ASA review. Today, you will see 10 divisions comprised of 916 sailors participating in the graduation ceremony and soon join the most powerful Navy in the world. Please draw your attention to the unit position at center deck. There is the review commander and staff. The review commander is responsible for conducting the graduation ceremony. Today's review commander is Sea Member Group Christian Tells of Ella Beach, Hawaii. Let's give him a hand, folks. Hunter Brown. 
and their crew chief and our sister and princess Destiny Garcia from San Antonio, Texas. Division two, six, three. Command guard, Chief and Officer Lori Farrell.
guests, please rise to your base today for the arrival of the official party.
for your inspection comment, sir. Creator of all things, 
and we pause to give you the glory this morning. For you have created life in such a way and demonstrated to us that nothing worthwhile comes without a price. This truth resonates throughout our nation's history and stands evident among the courageous sailors who have gathered here today. We praise you for creating them and sovereignly working in their lives, that you would knit within their very fabric the attributes and competencies necessary for mission accomplishment. We express our gratitude for the RDCs who have gone beyond evaluating performance to exemplify what it means to be a United States sailor. Here we stand aware that we can do nothing less, for it is by your hand that we are providentially guided to this moment. And Father, as we hear the words of the Navy hymn, may it serve as a reminder that it is also by your hand that we are protected as we move forward, forward into the unknown, dedicated to serving this great nation. It is in your mighty name that I pray. Amen. Amen.
Forward and reporting, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to your Navy quarterback. I'm Captain Kevin Grover, Commanding Officer, Recruit Training Command. I'd like to welcome our family and friends attending this graduation here live today and those watching online around the world. Joining us today is our recruiting officer, Vice Admiral Daniel Dwyer, Deputy Chief of Naval Operations, Operations, Planning, Strategy, Warfighting, and Building. And our guests of honor, Captain Navy Day, Defense Logistics Agency, United States Navy. I'd also like to acknowledge the staff of our fleet sponsor, Command, Naval Service Forces, and U.S. Pacific Fleet Sponsor Division 266. Our fleet sponsor program allows recruits to connect with sailors from around the world to provide a mentor motivation while here at RTC. I'd also like to welcome all our veterans attending this graduation here today. Thank you for your dedicated service to our country. For all our veterans, please rise and give you a round of applause. Thank you for your service to our country. Division 941 graduates today, there are state flags in the right of 50 state flags, just Columbia, U.S. Territory, flag, uh, drug board, and color. How about a round of applause for them? <laughs> now, we're going to be remiss if I didn't identify the nine other outstanding divisions standing before you here today as well. How about a round of applause for us <laughs> The staff of recruit training command is committed to providing the United States Navy with basic training, physically fit, smart logistical and sailors, such as those standing before you here today. These sailors have successfully completed 10 rigorous weeks of command and training and have earned the right to wear the uniform recognized around the world. I would also like to take a moment to introduce you, your family and friends, to your new Navy family. As you reconnect with your sailors shortly and navigate your new journey together, we invite you to learn more about your family and resources here in the Great Lakes and around the world. Search the internet for Navy Boot Camp Navy Family and check out our RTC website for more information about your new Navy family resources. Today's graduates have served as a federal of American Naval Forces around the world and joined other sailors to defend freedom and liberty. Those who are like a sailor with pride, his training group is ready to graduate. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you 916 of the newest and sharpest sailors in the United States Navy. Recruit training commands competitive system among individual recruits and divisions promotes teamwork, attention to detail, and pride in accomplishment. Divisions performing above standards throughout their training are awarded recognition flags in the five mission areas academic achievement, military drill, compartment readiness, applications, and physical fitness. These flags are carried as a visible symbol of the division's success. Each flag indicates that your sailors individually and as teams met performance standards in one or more mission area events. A division that exceeds basic requirements in these areas during your training qualifies as a battle efficiency division and is awarded the battle flag in recognition of their performance. Three divisions have earned this honor today, and we congratulate them. Any division that excels in every phase of training and earns all flags qualifies for the Chief of Naval Operations Honor Division recognition and is awarded the CNO Honor Flag for this exemplary achievement. This designation reflects a high degree of teamwork, morale, and esprit de corps, as well as the superb leadership of the division commanders. Division 2, 6, 6 has our next honor today. Bye, Sam.
Oakwire will now present this week's individual awards. And he will be joined with the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Frober, Commander, Naval Service Training Command, Rear Admiral Mattingly, and our guest of honor, Captain King. For achieving high school for all academic score during recruit training, Fireman William Wardlaw, Division 267, from Golden, Colorado, has earned the Academic Excellence Award. It's is sponsored by the Board of Reward Chapter of the Illinois Society of the Sons of the American Revolution. Fireman Wardlaw receives a letter of accommodation from the commanding officer. Well done, Sailor. Seaman EO8, Division 267, from Tehachapi, California, is the winner of the United Service Organizations Award for Best Exemplifying in Spirit and Intent of a Word Ship Name. Seaman Haley is given a commemorative plaque from the United Service Organizations. Well done, Sailor.
The Military Officers Association Leadership Award was presented to Aaron Gunn Long Wind, Division 260, Huntington Beach, California, for demonstrating exceptional tenacity and professionalism. Airman Wynn is awarded a letter of accommodation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. It is appropriate to recognize such outstanding individual accomplishments by these sailors with a round of three cheers. The adjutant will lead all graduating commissions in three cheers for this morning's award winner.
Recruit Training Command. How about one more round of applause for this great ceremony and the other Well, it is a true honor and privilege to be here with you today as we welcome this superb group of men and women to our naval service who will be the next generation of enlisted leaders in the world's finest Navy. So honored to be part of this tremendous ceremony and mark this occasion with family, friends who are both attending here in person or virtually, and with the Recruit Training Command staff who are here with us today. How about a round of applause for the family and the staff of Recruit Training Command? For over one century, Naval Station Great Lakes has transformed over 3 million civilians into highly trained sailors. The program here has always been rigorous, demanding more from recruits than they probably thought possible. But each of them has selflessly answered the call to duty to serve a cross that's greater than themselves. They have passed battle stations and proven themselves worthy of wearing the uniform that symbolizes freedom throughout the world, the uniform of the United States Navy. The recruit division commanders, instructors, and staff here at RTC have taken on the unique and honorable challenge of shaping these recruits into the finest American sailors while maintaining Navy's highest possible standards and we again thank them for their dedication. Please, yes. Round of applause. Yes, thank you very much. But most importantly, we acknowledge you, the sailors' families and friends, for your integral role that you've played in shaping these outstanding sailors. You helped shape your recruit into a person who wanted to stand up for their country, who understands the Navy's core values of honor, courage, and commitment. And during the past 10 weeks, you have selflessly supported them from near and afar. We now welcome you into our Navy family. Yeah. Thank you. 
You've contributed so much to the women and men who stand here ready to serve. So with deep appreciation, I proudly call you shipmates. Admiral Dwyer will now receive the salute of the graduating divisions, and he will be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Frober. Please remain seated until your graduates have been placed on liberty. Please join me in one more round of appreciation for our wonderful musicians of Navy Band Great Lakes. Flags. Post. Section leaders, fall out and retrieve outer garments.
Ladies and gentlemen, today is the only day for access to the Navy Exchange and photo pickup. Today and tomorrow, you can pick up your sailor at the Yorktown parking garage. Sailors going on liberty without a vehicle are to exit gate 8 toward the train station parking lot. Naturalization sailors, please report to the chapel at the conclusion of today's ceremony with your families for the naturalization ceremony. Thanks again to each and every one of you for joining us on this most memorable of Navy days. And without further delay, now hear this. Liber